their way to their seats. How much fun are you guys having out here today? Yes! This is awesome. Look, we are here at Dodgers Dreamfield at Darby Park. It is the first day of Black History Month, and we have Trace Thompson, outfielder for the Los Angeles Dodgers in the house. Yeah, come on, come on. It is a really special day, and we just are so glad that you all were able to come out here and share this afternoon with us. So a big shout out to Bank of America for putting this event on, making this possible. This is a part of the Dodgers LA Community Tour. So we are going all throughout the city and making sure that we're just having special moments like this today. So we are going to talk about baseball, staying active, having fun. How many baseball players are there in here today? All right, I see some hands going up. How about, we're gonna get more of these hands by the end of this. Basketball? All right. Softball? All right, how about any volleyball players? Yeah, okay, football? Oh, there it is, all right, well. Today, we're talking to Trace about baseball. Is that your favorite sport growing up, or did you have other ones? I, I played everything, but baseball, no doubt, since I was five years old, was my favorite, yeah. How important is it to be a part of different sports, especially as you're young and trying to figure out what sport you really love? Yeah, I mean, for me, it, it was really important to do everything. And, and I, you know, I had a dad that was a professional athlete, and um, he never hammered just one sport, you know, on me and my brothers. We, we, we did everything going up. We still do a lot of, you know, different sports, even though, you know, my brother plays professional basketball, I'm doing baseball. Um, we still do, you know, golf, tennis, you know, they, they play a, uh, you know, a soccer game with all their friends at the end of his off season. Um, that still goes on. So, um, you yeah, know, we loved everything growing up. Um, I still love other sports, still love watching other sports, still love doing the sports I'm able to do. Um, you know, I, I, I would not be where I am today had I not played those other sports for sure. Do you remember the first time you picked up a baseball bat? I don't, I don't remember the first time, but I definitely remember T-ball and, and being just obsessed with uh, hitting with everything that baseball had to, had to offer. Um, so it started out since day one of organized baseball for me, which was T-ball, uh, somewhat organized, I should say. Uh, I was upset. I was hooked from there. How important is it? And you mentioned look, your brother plays in the NBA. You have to play in the MLB, and you had a dad who played professionally. What did you learn as to different skill sets when you were younger that allowed you to make it to the to the big leagues? Uh, I think more than anything, it's, it's uh, the mentality you get from every sport. Um, you know, I've listened to guys talk about this before, but, uh, you know, basketball, you got to learn, you know, it's such a team-oriented game. Football is the same way. Um, you know, football, you can be the, the greatest player on the field, but the rest of your team, if everyone's not working together, you're not going to win. Um, and that's where baseball is kind of different. It's just, it's a team sport, but of individual moments. And so you fail so much in, in what we do professionally that you have to rely on your teammates to kind of uplift each other. And so um, that camaraderie you, you have with your teammates is, is super important. But I was lucky enough, you know, I grew up in Oregon, and um, the group of kids that we, we all grew up with, we did everything together. The same group of guys that we played baseball with, we played football with, we played basketball with, and it was just repeat, you know, after the summer. So. Um, I was very fortunate uh, of that, but that that close friendship and that close camaraderie is the reason why I've been able to succeed in, in my professional career, for sure. Now, I've noticed that, especially in baseball, uh, there's a lot of routine. And honestly, that's in all sports. You find what works for you to get you ready, your, your mindset, your body. What does your uh, daily routine look like on a game day? Because I know it's probably different right now, but on game day, what does that look like? Well, it, st it starts pretty early. I don't like to wait. I don't like to uh, wake up past like eight or eight thirty um, at home. But I live in Orange County, and so I make that forty-five minute drive every day. Um, so I try to get out of the house by eleven or eleven thirty, and then I show up to the field. And w once I'm at the field, I usually go straight to the weight room, and, and that's when it starts. Um, you know, it, it kind of tinkers from there, but. You know, it starts 12, 30, 1 o'clock. You know, I, I try to be in the weight room by 1 o'clock. Um, it's a long day, but, 
if you can do that consistently over the season, you, you'll have a foundation that you can always rely on. It's no different than anything, not, not just in professional sports, it's no different from any you know, work-related or school-related routine. you got to develop a routine and a foundation because you know, things aren't always going to go your way. Just like in life, things aren't always going to go your way. But if you have a good foundation, you can always rely on that and gain confidence from that. It's safe to say it requires a lot of discipline. A ton of discipline. And I have no discipline when it comes to ice cream. But when it comes to sports, I'm very disciplined. That's okay. You have to treat yourself. You know, sweets, that's a whole thing. But are you guys, if you want to make it, you got to put in a lot of work. And that's in anything. That's if you want to be on the field in any sport or on the court, depending on what sport it is, or even in working. If you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be a doctor, it takes a lot of effort and time to put in and focus. So you got to listen to your teachers, you got to listen to your coaches, you got to listen to Trace. He's dropping a lot of knowledge over here. So this is where it all begins. Because at some point, you're going to pick up something, whether it was a baseball. In my case, it was a volleyball. I started playing volleyball in sixth grade, and I loved it. And everything was, how do I make it as a volleyball player? And then that stopped. And it was kind of like, what's next? <coughs> what is life going to look like if I stop playing a sport? And I chose to figure out how to be on TV. And luckily, somehow made it work. Is there anything that you think about when it comes to, you know, baseball, something that you're obviously very passionate about? What other things do you like? Is it, you know, are there different video games? I don't know. It could be anything. I'm an outdoorsy person. I grew up, like I said, I grew up in Oregon. Um, so I'd love just being outside. Um, and obviously most sports um, are outside other than basketball but and volleyball. But um, I, I just love being outside. I love going to the beach. Um, that's something that... We're lucky to have here in California. Um, love, I love to play golf, um, but don't don't always get to do that. But you know, I I have a big passion for guys like Kenny Lanjo, um, guys that helped me and my to achieve my dreams and my goals. So giving back to kids and helping kids and other people achieve their dreams and and, and achieving the highest success that they can possibly have that that's something that uh, interests me. Um, but for me. Outside of baseball, just anything I can do to to, to strive to be a better human being. Um, you know, like you said, the sports doesn't unfortunately doesn't last forever. So you got to find um, whatever it is, whatever you're passionate about beyond sports to achieve greatness in that. And so for me, guys like Kenny, um, guys that have helped me along my career, that's something that interests me: giving back and, and helping other kids and and other. Uh, young young men and young women achieve their dreams. What about just growing baseball? You know, look, we've talked about, we said it, today it's February 1st, it is Black History Month, and there is something really special about all of us being right here today, because we are hoping to diversify baseball. So what does it mean to you to not only be a black man playing at the highest level, but also be a part of days like this, where you get to, you know, show people why you love this sport so much, and why it is so much fun, and why, you know, we want more people that look like us in baseball. Yeah, you know, that's that's the tricky question. That's what's been um, that's what's been tough on on this sport recently, um, and it's something that I think about a lot uh, because I think about, you know, like I said, guys that impacted me, like KT. I think about Ken Griffey Jr., my favorite player when I was a kid. Seeing seeing other people that look like you on TV is important, especially if you want to achieve something. Um, you know, seeing Matt Kemp in a Dodgers uniform when I was a teenager, when I lived in California, that was that was um, very inspiring to me. Grady Sizemore was another uh, huge hero of mine. Uh, he's a Northwest guy like myself, but um, you know, we 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 need to figure it figure out what it is. You know. The, these kids, you ask these kids, they can all go on and see high school basketball players. They're going to be in the NBA in two years. You can see high school football players. All, I saw a lot of hands that played football. They can go to college, and they're going to be playing on, on primetime television in college. Baseball's not like that. You can be the best player when you're 17, 18 years old. You can be the best player in the country. Guess what? You're going to go play in the middle of nowhere in minor league baseball for a couple of years, and then hopefully you're going to be in the big leagues by the time you're 21, 22, if you're really good. Um, but so it's tough, you know. That that's that's a definitely an attractive thing for the other sports that we don't necessarily have. Um, but I think it starts even before that. We need we need more black coaches 
in high school, we need more black coaches in, in college. We definitely need more black coaches in the professional uh, ranks. So um, we just need more representation in the game. We need, we need kids like all you guys to start playing and be exposed to more baseball because it is an amazing game. It is a game that can teach you a lot about life and a ton of life lessons because unfortunately there's a ton of failure. And, but you have to learn how to pick yourself up and go to work the next day and, and give it your, you know, your, your best effort. So, um, you know, like I said, I went to the Urban Youth Academy and met KT when I was 16, 17 years old. Um, and, and guys like that, you know, I remember seeing Juan Pierre there, I remember seeing Matt there, Matt Kemp there, Orlando Hudson. So guys like that had a huge impact on me. It's something that I've always, I've always wanted to pay it, you know, pay it forward and, and be a voice for them as well. But um, it's definitely something that takes a group effort. So we need a lot of guys in baseball to kind of pull on that end of the road. How many of you guys was this your first time playing baseball today? Okay, we got some hands up. Did you have fun doing it? Yes. I know you did. So who wants to play again? Yeah. So this is where it begins. All of this right here. There is an opportunity that every single one of you guys has to maybe play baseball one day, to play professionally, to work for a team one day, to work in sports, whatever you want to do, you can literally make that happen. But it starts with days like this. So now we've got some first time baseball players. We're gonna hopefully get you guys out to Dodger Stadium to come see a game. We can see Trace in action. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. We might know some people. Well, maybe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but look, this is where it begins. This is where it sparks you and you become like, wow, that is so much fun. So for you, I, I want to ask, you think about kind of moments like this in their lives and how they can kind of spark some more interest. What is your favorite part about baseball? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Getting a hit? Yeah. <laughs> You make contact and get a hit and get on first base or second base, whatever it is. It's just like it's hard to explain, but um, man, you get to you get to play it every day, and you get to do it every day. That's something that my brother talks about. He's jealous mostly because when he has a bad night, he wants to get right back out there and, and try to make up for it. And we have that privilege, um, but you get to ex you get exposed to so many things in this sport. You get to travel the country, you get to see some of the nicest cities, get to eat some really good food. Um, but like I said, I, I think the, the biggest thing for baseball teaches you just how to be a man and, and how to approach life um, and how to really work hard because it's, it's, it's something that requires you to work hard because it's literally every day. So, um, but as far as the game, if I can just go get one hit a day, I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> Who got a hit today? Oh, that's awesome. I did too. And I'm going to be honest, it was the best feeling ever. Look at that. We've got some athletes in here, some stars. You have a question. What's up? One more time. Afterwards, just come find me. I got you. Yes. We're going to get there. Don't you worry. We're talking about baseball, fun, life. All right, so what's your pregame meal? Honestly, my pregame, my like go-to, like majority of the time, peanut butter and jelly. Yes. Yeah, and jelly. How many PBJ fans are there out there? Nice. That is the best pregame meal. It's healthy. It gives you protein, some carbs to give you energy. Yeah. Grapes. Those are good snacks. How important is it to fuel your body for a game and just for a workout to keep focused? That's my biggest issue. I love food. Sometimes I like bad food, um, but no, it's it's very important. It's it's half the battle, man. If you, if you can if you can have the discipline to, to say no to you know the cookies and the this and the that, all the stuff that they bring into our clubhouse sometimes, especially for a guy that plays every day or strives to play every day, it's, it's really important. But um, you know you. The older you get, you realize really how important diet is. I wish I knew. I wish I really committed to it when I was younger. Um, but it, it's definitely, especially when it comes to being a professional athlete, it's necessary. It's absolutely necessary. So you guys got to take care of your bodies starting now. That's how you are mentally stronger, physically stronger. It all begins here. 
So now I've got one more question for you before we let everyone go, because I know everyone's a little bit hot out here. But we are gonna have some more fun, don't you worry. Favorite part of playing for the Los Angeles Dodgers? Man, that's tough. You you can name anything, and, and you know, wearing this uniform and playing in that stadium in this city is special. But uh, it's funny if you ask anybody else around baseball where's their favorite place to play, everybody says LA. You know, there's there's just a certain energy that that stadium brings. Um, and, and that our fans bring, and uh, it, it's special. But uh, in my favorite part, I, I'm just, I'm privileged, I feel honored to be a major leaguer. Um, and being able to put this uniform is just icing on the cake. I never thought I would ever be a Dodger. Um, you know, my first major, going to a major league baseball game was at Dodger Stadium, so, so the, even to go there, uh, you know, now, as a 31-year-old, I, I still, like, kind of have to pinch myself, but, um, Man, there's so many things. I, I, I could literally go on and on. I tell you what, getting free bats, getting free baseball bats is, is, is for the 14-year-old in me, that's like one of the coolest things ever. And I think it's just important to know that, look, everyone's journey is very different. And yours wasn't necessarily a straight shot to the majors. And uh, I think that says a lot about who you are as a man. It says a lot about just the discipline you have, the passion that you have for the sport. So. Thank you, Trace, honestly. Everyone here, can we give a big round of applause for Trace Thompson for spending the morning with you guys? Yes, there it is.